thank you to our awesome patrons who made this video possible. To join our community and get cool rewards like postcards from around the world, click the link in the description or go to patreon.com slash the way away. Good morning from Bond, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Josh. And I'm Ashley. And this is our beautiful friend, Laura. <laughs> Today is our last day in Germany before we start an exciting tour through the train system in the Nordic countries. And it is sadly the last day that Laura is with us. So say goodbyes now in the comments. Aww. Today we are exploring Bonn, Germany, and we are starting out with a free walking tour. Let's go. And just before we get started, do make sure to subscribe because YouTube loves it when you subscribe on the video itself. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to hit the notifications so you actually get notified when it goes live. Let's explore Bonn. First of all, welcome to Bonn. Uh, thank you all very much uh, for coming today. That makes me very happy. Let me first of all introduce myself. The tour has begun and we are off walking now. The first thing you need to know about Bonn is that it was once the capital of Western Germany for over 40 years. So this place is well known within Germany, but not too many people know it from outside of Germany. has made an effort to point out that much of the stories that he's telling surround buildings and places that no longer exist. Bonn being a very modern city, but it reaches back to 14,000 years ago where they found skeletons that have been carbon dated to have existed here long before there was any settlements. This was also a Roman city. It was conquered by Napoleon. There's so much history here. And this place behind me, there used to be a church where Beethoven went to find his birth certificate because he wanted to get married and get a life marriage license. If you don't know, Beethoven is from the city and it makes it a very popular place. The funny bit is that Beethoven's father convinced Beethoven that he was six when he was only eight to make him seem like even more of a prodigy because, of course, a young child that played so brilliantly was even more impressive than a slightly older child. Walking around you may notice that there is just a ton of activity and people going on. Apparently this is not normal for Bonn. Uh, it seems to be the voting season. There's a lot of uh, different parties with tents up. There's people like cheering on the EU and like there's just a lot of activity happening. I mean there's people with speakers just pretty much everywhere we go. There's also a soccer game today so there are a lot of people chanting, cheering and having their like little scarves on. It's kind of fun. I like the action. streets we're seeing um, things above the doorways of the modern buildings and it's cool because you can actually tell what was once sold here in these shops there is a bell maker there's a bakery and actually this city used to be organized by the names of the houses and what they sold there instead of like street names and numbers that was instilled by Napoleon and it is now that way today but back in the day it was a lot harder to get around. One of the things that's interesting, if not a little bit sad about this city, is that a lot of these old houses are completely unoccupied. About 80% of the building space in this old downtown is unoccupied because businesses have the first floor and you obviously wouldn't want to crawl through a, a store to get to your apartment, especially if it's closed. Like, So this yeah. entire area is like a ghost town after like 6 or 7 p.m. Yeah, well, I think when they first built this area, the merchants, they actually had their own store yeah. on the bottom floor and then they lived on the top two floors, three floors. But now with big box shops like Starbucks or yeah. H&M, they're not renting it out to people. It's just empty or used for um, what? The, storage, the, really. Yeah, storage. So sad. I, I told Josh maybe we should just email one of them. Like, like, hey, listen, listen it's empty up there. You, we'll give you 500 bucks for a month's rent. It's 500 bucks you're not yeah, making right 500 now. 500 bucks. <laughs> 
We've come to Hans im Gluck, which is a burger restaurant, and we got a five euro and 50 cent meal deal for lunch. We got a drink, we got fries, and we got burgers. For 550 euro, that's such a good deal. That is incorrect. You paid the burger plus 550 for the side and the drink. Oh, <laughs> I misunderstood. Well, it's still a good deal compared yeah. to everything else. <laughs> ah, dang, I thought it was so cheap. But anyways, our burgers look delicious. The menus are cute little storybooks, and they have so many amazing choices. We all had a really hard time deciding. But I am ready to eat this. Plus, look at all the sauces. I can choose whatever sauce I want. Go on my fries. I'm going to try every single one of them. Next stop, the exciting portion of our day. We are going to the best shop in Bonn. Oh? Yeah, it's called Haribo. Oh my gosh. What? So many different kinds. I feel like we should get one of every flavor. These are the kind that I'm familiar with in the US. You can get them really easily, but different ones. Like these, these little guys I haven't seen before. How do you choose? The trick to finding the best gummies is squishing them. Like my favorite are the soft ones. I like these are too hard. Oh, these ones are pretty squishy. I'm pretty picky when it comes to um, gummies. Like I know the gummies I like and like hard gummies are not my favorite, but the soft ones, like these are too hard. Oh, pretty soft, that might work. It also looks like they do licorice. These are all the licorice flavors in this little gummy hole. Huh. Black licorice. This is like licorice um, in a string all together. Do you guys like black licorice? I love black licorice. These are, we have these kind of things in the US. Not by Haribo. Delicious. I love black licorice. But I like soft black licorice. So the founder of Haribo, his name was Hans Regal. So the H and A is from the Hans. The R and I from his last name. And then the boat is actually from Bonn, the city that we're in right now. I found the best section of the store. It's where they have all the little bins that are full of candies and then you get to choose whatever candies you want to put in the bags. You can mix and match them. Um, I'm pretty sure I spotted Laura over there already with a bag of candy. <laughs> Laura's already grabbed a bag and yep. put some little guys in there. Yeah, look, 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 the, yeah, look at the flamingos. What? Huh? We for sure don't have these no. in the U.S. These bears are holding hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you see that? <laughs> Is it a two in one? Is yeah. it supposed to be like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. They're all holding hands. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. There are so many. Laura said this is a popular section because it's so packed. But look. <laughs> move, move. <laughs> They've opened it up. Look at all these. But when they're like this, I can't squish them and see what they're, yeah. Squish them with the tongs. Oh, that's true, that's true. You getting one of each color? Trying to. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good plan. Yeah. I don't know, but this whole section is 89 cents per 100 grams. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'll 32. probably spend a little less than three. Wow, that's less than three great. Though, right? If you're familiar with the Haribos, these are actually my favorite. The only one I don't like is the purple one. No good. But the rest, delicious. If you only like one color of gummy bear and you're like OCD and only want that one gummy bear, you can buy green ones, white ones, pink ones, red ones, orange ones, all in giant packs. So you can get the one color. <laughs> Pretty cool. And if you're in the mood and don't want to gain too much weight, you can buy a little baby one. They're so small. <laughs> little minis Aww. or the little mini baby cokes if you don't want to feel guilty. But Laura and I, we don't care. <laughs> Let's compare. <Yeah. laughs> it's the same, it's the same. Yeah, totally. <laughs> 
This is a gummy bear. This is real gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> Victory is ours! <laughs> Who knew they had so many flavors of gummies? That place is gummy heaven. Right now, my mouth is gummy heaven. Mm -hmm. Not only does Bun have amazing gummies, but they also have baby Beethovens. For Beethoven's 250 year birthday, they decided to make all these little baby Beethovens and sell them. They are 300 euro a pop. And then they thought, why don't we just make a spectacle out of it and take these little baby Beethovens and put them in the main square in the city for everyone to look at and to make more hype, right? They want more people to buy them. Yeah, I don't think we'll be taking one of these home with us today. <laughs> but they're fun to walk through, I, really, I like them. Okay, to be honest, we were just talking about it and we do not see this worth two, 300 euro a right. pop. Or 650 for a signed one by the artist. I think beauty is in the eye of the b purchaser. But it's made out of plastic. <laughs> or some sort of hollow. resin or something, yeah. Something. It's hollow. I mean, to each his own, right? You could be a part of history. <laughs> Actually got her Haribo candy fix. We got some beers. We're heading out by the Rhine. I feel like we're doing this right. Yeah, it's a sunny, sunny day. Like, what else do you want to do but picnic on gummy bears and beer? <laughs> Nothing really. <laughs> this is my Haribo review. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry Haribo. Let's see what this one tastes like. Hmm. Soft little gummies on the outside, chewy little gummy on the inside. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh, good to one. Try a flamingo. Bro, oh, you love this flamingo one. That is really cute. See that? Wow. Yep. our Airbnb and we're having a traditional German meal as sure. our last meal here sure. in Germany. But sadly this is your last time seeing Laura for a little while. She is not going to be <laughs> traveling with us but we plan to see her in Norway in about a month or two months. So it's not the last time say bye to Laura but we'll see her again soon. Wait then we had a great time in Germany and we have some awesome adventures coming up so we cannot wait to take you along. So the next video will probably be us explaining exactly what we're doing, so look out for that. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you then. Auf Wiedersehen for the last time in Germany. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. 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 Tschüss, guys. A huge shout out to all of our patrons who helped make this video possible. If you want to follow more, go to Instagram at wayawaymag. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out our second channel, Way More, if you want to see way more from us.